To fully appreciate the car I'm standing alongside, join me in a little history lesson. All the way back to 1950, one of the first cars produced by Enzo Ferrari from his Maranello headquarters was a little compact sports car called a Barchetta. It wasn't a hard top and it wasn't a convertible. The cockpit was permanently open to the elements. Barchetta translates from Italian as little boat. Now, jump forward to the 2000s and then Ferrari president Luca de Montezemolo asked his designers, Pininfarina and his engineers, to come up with a front-mounted V12 sports car. It would be the first V12 sports car mounted in the front since the mighty Daytona of the 1970s. The result of that was the 550 Maranello, an instant success with the Ferrari buying customers. But then, to celebrate Pininfarina's 70th anniversary, Ferrari and Pininfarina together designed this, the 550 Barchetta Pininfarina. And just like the car in 1950, it is a true Barchetta, clearly open to the elements. Don't look for the tonneau cover or a convertible roof in any way. It simply isn't there. It sold out instantly with the Ferrari customers because they had a front engine car of limited production, a true Ferrari Barchetta. What could beat that? And here is that Ferrari 65 degree four valve engine inside the Barchetta Pininfarina. Remember, this is the first V12 engine car mounted in the front since the Daytona of the 1970s. Huge advancements, of course, in terms of technology. In terms of inlet manifold, the car uses a variable inlet manifold, which increases or decreases the inlet tract inside here to help with low speed torque and high speed horsepower. And that's all done by the electronics on the car. But it is so compact as well. Air inlets to the left and right here in these beautiful little boxes. And then the red cam covers down here, very reminiscent of the Testarossa actually, but it's not a Testarossa in the true sense of the word, but it does have the crackle cam covers. But it is beautifully installed inside the bodywork here of the Barchetta. There's no question in my mind that Maranello's engineers have done absolutely stellar work with this car.